All right, guys, today is September 27th, 2018, and here is my next update. So in this update, I'm going to show you some of the few mistakes that I did that really caused the plant a lot of stress, and it it really kind of like um, destroyed a few of the plants, and it's just looking horrible, and I'll show you that very soon. But um, the temperature is cooling down now, and I'm getting rid of a few plants because uh, they're probably not going to make it, so it's not worth keeping them around. So um, the... I'll, I'll just show you some of the plants that I'm gonna get rid of um, the first one here is this one here I, I kind of trimmed it back because I had an aphids infestation when I went out of town for a while I came back it was just covered and so I trimmed it down and then um, treated it and now it's kind of like coming back but it's a little bit too late I saved a few fruits here you see so there's a few fruits that are good, but the rest are just not not doing too well. And I mean, it's growing new shoots and it's looking good, but it's just too late for this guys to come back. And I cut that super pekin down, and as you can see, it's also coming back. It's also producing some buds here, but again, it's it's already almost October, so uh, maybe I'll save that one. And. Uh, See, I cut this one here too, so this one's gonna be gone. My hornet there has also uh, has aphids as well, so all those have been trimmed, and then the, I saved those fruits. Look at these guys, they're crazy looking. We we'll see the stinger, and it kind of like looked like a bonnet, but has that that's that little stinger there. They're really cool. Okay, and here is one of my new crosses and um, I took it out of soil and put it into hydroponic to see if I can speed it up and maybe get a fruit or two but we'll see um, what I'm using here is a pump that is running on solar right here I see that and it's actually pumping air into my unit you see there all on solar power so this is I did it a few days ago I have a video coming up soon so uh, if everything goes well and the plant lives and I, I will release the video but not if not then I'll just <laughs> trash it and here's my fish pepper this guy's actually doing really good um, you see that nice little fruit there I like the way it looks kind of like variegated pretty looking plant and then this here is a propagated branch look at this it has fruit so it, it, I, I, I took a cutting a while back and and now it's kind of like growing so it has two fruits which is pretty cool and the cutting come from that guy right there when I was uh, trimming it down earlier this season okay and here is uh, one of my other one that looks like that same variety that I'm trying to rush so they're about the same age and this one as well they're about the same age so uh, I took it out of this pot right here to move it there I think uh, if the temperature cools down like right now it's uh, it's below 70 degrees so it's perfect so um, if, if it keeps that up then that guy is gonna outgrow this one and that one and then I have the this few here it was just growing all over the place and then um, rain was really hard and it kind of like broke the branch and so I just cut the whole entire plant back and now it's coming back uh, I cut this one down as well because I thought I was gonna get rid of it because I don't need it look at that that is my Jabuti Kaba plant right there I grew this one from seeds uh, that Susan gave me so this one is about a year old now or a little bit lot older all right guys here is my lemon starburst bed and uh, the mistake that I told you so I was trying to fertilize my grass as you can see how beautiful the grass looked today <laughs> so uh, um, a week ago uh, I knew that rain was gonna come so I wanted to fertilize the grass before um, uh, the rain comes that way you know everything gets saturated evenly so the grass can grow so I did this in the evening and then uh, I 
sprinkled accidentally a bunch of the grass uh, fertilizer in there and I didn't realize it but I was just rolling it across and a bunch of them fell in there and then the next day it rained and it rained and you know those grass fertilizer are very strong they're like 29 in nitrogen so then look what happened a week later the plant started to like almost died so it dropped all of the leaves here and then so you see the leaves change to this color it becomes like a brownish uh, undertone at the bottom here and kind of when you touch it it's very very brittle it just breaks and then it, the leaves turn yellow so that's usually due to uh, fertilizer overload so it's almost like you're poisoning the plant so anyway, the, the lemon starburst, if you go back to my previous video, this one looks amazing. They're just beautiful plants, super green and healthy, but then over fertilized accidentally and see that it's just all dead. But look at all those fruits down there. <laughs> so all of these fruits here, I'm going to pick and I'm going to de-seed it for a giveaway that I'm going to do very soon. So as you can see, let me show you closer. You see this here? How kind of kind of brown the leaves kind of like fall off on its own. It's very very brittle. It just and uh, and then it curled up like that. See, it looks tiny and shriveled and just it changes color. So that's when you know that it it's uh, it's been poisoned by f too much fertilizer. It's just and then this is what happened. The leaves begin to fall slowly. It'll turn yellow like this here. And it just dropped so that's that's how you know so guys don't make the mistake just as I mentioned earlier in the video if you guys have been following me just fertilize uh, enough uh, actually under fertilize is better than over fertilization so uh, just just manage it and just don't overfeed your plant it, that's that's what happens so uh, I did it to this bed because as I roll it the, the pebbles just fell in there a bunch of them so I should have done this in the evening and this bed here is, is really high. You see that? It's, really, it's like two feet high. And nothing happens because the pebble didn't fall in. And look how beautiful this bed is. Nice herb. That's my sage and basil. Basil is just growing ri ridiculous. It, it grew so heavy that when the wind uh, blow at it, look, it broke off. You see? These trunks here are like, they look like little trees. And all of these were grown from... Um, a cutting so look at that now that's all of those are my basil so I, I keep giving this away to uh, people and more and more keep coming back and there's sweet basil in the back there these things are just ridiculous and then here is my um, uh, scotch brain so it's, it's ripening looking really nice lots of fruit underneath here so I'm gonna I need to get rid of these sage plants here so that there's more room for the peppers and one of my favorite herb here the Cuban oregano look at that it's just grown like crazy it's very beautiful rosemary just grown everywhere so this bed is doing amazing so uh, it was fertilized just fine not over fertilized uh, with the grass pebble that I mentioned okay so enough rambling with the over fertilization um, so I have uh, the star um, starburst and then I have the peach version look at this beautiful peach version of it man I, I haven't given the seeds out for the peach version yet uh, I think a few people do have it but uh, just the yellow version uh, most people have those and the red the scarlet rose they're very very beautiful and the peach one, I really like the way it tastes. Look at all those beautiful colors here. Too bad the plant is just dying. It's just looking horrible. Okay, and here's my hornet. Also, it was affected, but it did pop out a few pods. And then all, some fell in here as well, so it almost killed my uh, Texas Crimson Bonnet. But uh, this bed didn't get uh, too much. So I think I stopped around right here when I was doing fertilizing because it was dark. Okay, and so that plant was affected. And did you see that? All the leaves just just fell off and then only the fruits remain. So there's lots of fruits in there. And the, the, the plants that are further back here, 
uh, didn't get any problem because this is where I kind of stopped so my white tie is just fine look how beautiful these are I, I, I use these peppers every day they're just amazing anytime you need it you come out here pick a few the best when they're fresh <laughs> and I have some more basil in there scotch brain here look at that beautiful lots of fruits in there too bad these are not my contest plant my contest plant is doing horrible and then here's some stargazer it's starting to change color I have a few ghosts in here scotch brains Texas crimson bonnet man I love those things they're really productive if it wasn't for me doing the, the fertilizing mistake it would have done so much better okay and that's my scotch brain contest plant there it's doing fine I think it's gonna get like 20 30 fruits right now and maybe more later because there's a lot of flowers and I have uh, probably to late October so <laughs> another of my cross right there this is the stargazer and here is also where I did the damage so some of the pebbles fell in here as well because I was doing this area right here so my white habanero man it's just looking horrible but those fruits this plant here is amazing it, it it's a huge huge producer see that and it should produce more than this but I, I just made that mistake look at this this is what how you can tell it's it's fertilized poison you see it looks horrible leaves wrinkle all the flowers just drop and then it, it wrinkled up like that same with here it, it's also the discoloration that's how you can tell and then at the tip it looks like this mites damage has similar uh, issue but you can tell the the brown color and the weird looking it's just it just mutated also okay so that's how you can tell look at that white white habanero looking awesome and my uh, bikinos man I'm really excited about this one bikinos right here look at that I got a lot of bikinos so uh, after it's, this one's kind of recovering and uh, oh as you see that that's how over fertilized look okay so this this bed has it bad also I guess because it's so low okay and then I have my sriracha bonnet here looking okay uh, some of the plants are looking worse than the other this one suffered the most here all the leaves are gone and then I got rid of my cucumbers so this is just an empty bed and I started a few new cucumber seeds just for fun okay white tie I already showed that to you and then these this last bed here I I, I didn't fertilize past this area so it's looking fantastic got some um, Kangsta red and Kangsta yellow see there's a red right there and then there's a yellow right there and that yellow one looks awesome and then I got some jalapenos that just accidentally grew in there I got some Linzo back here lots of fruits I'm gonna do a review coming up so those red ones and then <laughs> I just want to show you guys this. This is my propagated um, uh, coleus. I, did, I had a video done uh, recently, so if you guys want to check it out, uh, I'll link you guys so you can take a look or browse my channel. So I, I, I bought two coleus plants, and this is the result of all the propagation. So I'm going to do more soon. You see here, all of these here will be propagated. So I'm going to have like 20 or 30 in very little time. Those are all of this here uh, were from two plants. And then the last bed here, I, I have uh, just extra stuff. And this here is a propagated cucumber plant. Look at that. Just a small vine. And then look at there. I got a fruit from the propagation. That one at the top. So I, I didn't know that it would grow, but I wanted to try anyway. So you can 
propagate cucumber and it'll grow just like a normal normal vine all right guys so that is it for this video uh horrible with the accidental fertilization uh, over feed the nitrogen because of, uh, i'm always doing grass and uh that's it guys so in the next video you may see that these guys are going to be chopped down and uh, i'll clean this up so that i can have my winter crops like lettuce and all the other stuff anyway thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe